Okay. Hello friends, it's Sam and today I am bringing you a summer clothing try on haul. Wow, crazy. This is kind of more like beauty guru style than like <laughs> videos I normally do. But um, I just kind of want to show you guys the cool things I've been getting. I've literally, like everything in this video, I've like, been accumulating for like um, a few months now. So I didn't just like go on a huge shopping spree and buy all this recently. It's kind of been spread out starting from like May. <laughs> um, but in my last video, my little 4th of July vlog thing, I asked you guys if you would want to see a tiny haul and a couple of you said yes, which was good enough for me. So let's get right into it. Woo! Okay, so the first thing I got are these leggings from Marshalls and they're kind of like very, actually very fuzzy right now um, because of the material they are, they kind of like accumulate a lot of like fuzz and threads. But you know what? That's that's okay. Plus I got a lot of animals, so that kind of um, happens anyway. But they're just like plain black, and they have this lovely mesh sheer type thing. Um, I think there's a pocket. There's like a secret pocket right here. Um, this, and then the next pair of leggings I got, um, I got from the Marshalls clearance section for like $12 each, so let's go. Okay, this is, oh god, are they even on right? Alright, this is the other pair of leggings I got. Um, they're kind of like a cropped fit, as you can probably tell, hopefully, yes, maybe. Um, and they kind of got the same like sheer thing going on the side. I didn't really notice this until after I bought them, but they kind of like switch patterns into like a, um, like a cheetah type thing on the bottom, which is kind of weird, because I only really liked them for like the palm tree pattern. But I mean, they're like, they're okay. They're kind of stretchy. Um, I work at a yoga studio, so I needed like some more yoga leggings and Marshall's Came through. Okay, so the next store I went to was Victoria's Secret, and along with this plethora of underwear, which I kind of needed because all of my old underwear were like too small or they were ripping, which is like, am I being too aggressive putting my underwear on? I don't know, but they were ripping. So I got some new underwear, and then I got this bougie ass, uh, like cami pajama set. I really like the color, it's kind of like a dusty rose. I'm bad with color names. Not a beauty guru, obviously, but it's really comfy, really cute, really soft. Ooh, um, this was this was a little on the pricier side, but I had like a 20% off coupon, so that's why I got it. I really wanted to get like the matching robe to be like so extra because I feel like I'm pretty extra, but the robe was like $50, so I was like, okay, maybe not. Like, I feel like I could go to somewhere else and get a silky robe for cheaper. Um, I'm just wearing a bralette under it, so I'm not like nipping, but the shorts are like kind of high waisted and um. It just, it fits really nice. Um, normally I don't really buy from Victoria's Secret because first of all, it's just expensive and I know that they have some unethical practices, just like not treating their workers well. And I know they got exposed for using child labor a couple years ago. I don't know if they still do, but um, I just, I needed some underwear and that's like the only place I know that uh, has underwear that I like. So honestly, let me know where you guys like to buy your underwear from because clearly I need some that are gonna last me because mine rip, I, I don't know, don't know. and. I also got this cooler because sometimes, you know, they give you like free things. It's a pineapple, which honestly I think is kind of cute. So, shout out to that. Alright, and then I also got this bralette. Um, it was, ooh, a pimple. Love that. Okay, anyways. Um, I got this from the, what's it called? The semi-annual sale at Victoria's Secret. It's just navy blue and I like it because I can like also kind of wear it as a top like during the summer because it's hot as fuck. And I wear like crop tops anyway because it's like longer. This is what the back looks like. Um, I like the color navy and this was like... $10 I think, so it was good for me. Ooh, okay, so this top I actually got, um, I'm focused. This top I actually got from Zara last year in Mexico. We went to Cancun for a vacation. Um, this is what the back looks like. And I got it, um, I didn't try it on, and this was the only one left. I got it in like a size, I, I don't know, I wanna say small, but then I remembered that they do their sizes weird. I don't know, it did not fit me at all. Like the zipper was like back, like up to here, like I literally couldn't get it to close. So I went and got it tailored and they like put some more fabric um, in the middle and fixed the zipper. So now it actually fits and I really love it. Like it's just so flowy and cute. It's got like a little white part underneath so like no titties don't come out. But like oh, I love it. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear it. So summery, so flirty, so flowy. Like I'm, I'm obsessed with this honestly. So I'm really glad I finally got it tailored a year later. Okay, so these next couple things I'm honestly so obsessed with. Um, this top is just kind of boring, but I got it from H&M. It was like $3. And I got it to go with this skirt. This, um, I don't know. I've seen it on like Instagram and Tumblr a lot. 
uh, this style skirt, but it is called the Christina skirt, but it's like X Tina because like Christina. But anyways, um, I got the white one with like the black a uh, little lacy up thingy things. It's from this website called Oh Mighty and they have a lot of like, I don't know how to describe it, very like aesthetic, like kind of tumbler, um, some like retro things. It's really hard to describe but if you go on their website you'll know what I mean. But um, I literally love this so much. I really wanted the one that was like silver but that one was too expensive. This one was on sale for like $36 and some of them are like $60 or $70 so I was like honey. But they're all the same same style and I just like, I don't know, I really like it. Um, I'm sorry if you can see my underwear. You probably can. I'm gonna have to wear like nude underwear with this. Um, but I, I love it. Like I really love it. Um, I got a size medium because it is a company based in China. Um, but it's all like, they don't have like child labor or weird shit like that because it's like a, um, independent company. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. So, because it's an Asian company, the sizes run kind of small, or so that's what I found online. They don't have a sizing chart on the website, which is kind of annoying, but um, I just want the medium to be safe, and it fits me pretty good. Um, my waist size is like a 26, so uh, if any of you guys are similar or want like a, a reference of size, uh, that's, that's what I, I got a medium, and 26, so yep. And then... Okay, then I got this little set, um, also from Almighty. Oh god, the little elastic is messed up. I forget what this set is called, I'm sorry. Um, but my boyfriend says this kind of looks like a Capri Sun because it's silver. But y'all know my favorite color, silver, and I don't care. I think it looks freaking amazing. It's kind of creased because it's literally just kind of been, like, um, chilling in a, in a bag. This top, um, I'm kind of scared. I might have to, like, wear Pacey's or get some of the, like, fashion tape to tape it because the material... It's really nice material, but it's like kind of slippery, so I feel like it might might have a nip slip, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want that. Because it's, um, you just kind of wrap it around the back. Love that, so nice. And then you tie it in the front. Dude, dude, I got a medium in this also. Um, you can't do, like, separate sizes for top and bottom, but I freaking love this. I just, like, kind of need an event to wear it to, because I feel like it's kind of bougie, but, like, honey. Yes. Queen. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was, oh, also, another thing about this company, you either can do standard shipping or FedEx, like, two or three day shipping. Obviously, the two day, th two to three day shipping is way more expensive, so I just did standard shipping, and I got an email that was, like, confirming my order, and, um, it said that since I did standard shipping, you don't get a tracking number with it, and it'll probably take, like, two to three weeks to get there, but I don't know if they just, like, messed up my shipping or something, I got another email like the next day with a tracking number saying it was going to be there by like the end of the week and I was like what the fuck? So I ended up getting like the quick shipping but only paying for like the slower shipping if you get what I'm saying which I am not complaining about. I am so happy. I am so um, happy with the clothes. Also they fit pretty well and they're really like nice quality not like cheap stuff that you would might expect from like a company from China but definitely check them out like follow their Instagram oh mighty. Um, I love them. I'll link their website down below. It's really great. So yeah. Next items. Okay, so all four swimsuits that I'm gonna show y'all in this video video are from Zaffle, which is that um people a lot of people think it's like a scammy website. Maybe it can be for some people. I don't know. I had a pretty good experience with them. Except the shipping took um about like a week longer. But I mean that was my bad. I should have like planned more because I ordered these all for spring break. I don't know these ordered these back in like March. So I've had these for a while, but I just thought I would include them in this video because I know a lot of people um, like want to buy from websites like Zavel, but they're kind of like sketched out, like they won't fit right or, they're, or they will look weird. So before I bought these, I did a lot of like um, watching YouTube videos about them and kind of um, what I like about Zavel is that on the product, if you click on the product, people can like post pictures of them like wearing the stuff, which I think is helpful because then you get to see how it actually fits and what it actually looks like. So I ordered four. Um, they were all about like 14-ish dollars each for the top and the bottom, like together. So this first one um, is just like white and has these little uh, bull. I think they're bull, maybe ox. Uh, clearly I don't know my animals very well. <laughs> um, but it has like the, it's like a western skeleton. Uh, the cut, I don't know, I think it's kind of weird for me. The bottoms, um, they're like pretty good coverage. I really like um, to tan my butt, so I don't like a lot of coverage on the butt. So you might think this is not a lot of coverage, but this is a lot of coverage for me. 
Um, also, I was glad that since it's white, sometimes if it's like cheaper and it's white, you can see through, but you can't. This one is like very good material. Um, they do have, I don't know if you can tell, it has like the weird pads at the top. I haven't really tried taking those out because, I don't know, I just haven't tried it. Um, the back looks like this. It like clasps in the back, so this one's not really adjustable. Um, I think this one is a medium. Um, I got like two medium and two small because it, you just have to check the size chart. There's a different size chart for each bathing suit. Um, I think this one... I don't, I don't remember, I'm sorry, I don't think it has a tag, but this one honestly um, actually fits pretty good. So, next, bathing suit. Okay, I decided to move closer because I feel like that would be better for y'all. If it's worse, I'm so sorry. Um, but this next one is my favorite. I just really like the colors. I like how it fits me. Usually I don't like animal print things or like skin, snake skin things. This is snake skin print and I really like it. I don't know why. But I love the little strappies on the, the sides here. Um, it's light pink. Hopefully it comes off right on camera. I feel like it makes my boobs look pretty good. Just saying, I wore this to music festival. I held them in nicely. I was jumping around and they weren't going anywhere. So no nip slips. That's good. Um, the back looks like that. It's also got like the strappies. Um, in the back you slip it on and you tie it. Love that. So good. Um, the only thing about this one was I did not wear this actually swimming until like last weekend. And apparently when it gets wet, you can like kind of see the because see the nips a little bit, which I don't really mind too much. Um, it wasn't too bad. But yes, I like this one. Oh, and the white one I tried on before was a small, and this one is a medium. So I like it. Uh, what was I saying? Right, okay. So it's kind of similar in style to the pink top I just showed y'all. This set is also in a medium. Um, the only thing is like the this top is, it's like a cage uh, ladder back, and you, so you can't really tie it or adjust it. I do find though with this one, uh, I might have had a few accidental nip slips, especially when, you know, sipping, sipping your wine cooler by the pool or whatever. Um, I don't know, like, I guess it's, the cut is kind of low, it kind of, like, comes down some, so I just gotta, like, gotta keep hiking it up sometimes, gotta watch them titties, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm so sorry about this, I'm just trying to be real with y'all. Again, this <laughs> is really good, um, good quality material. This stitching's better on this one, I think. This one has, like, a little list coverage in the back. The boot would be out, y'all. But honestly, I think this is really flattering. Uh, let's go, bitch. I, I really like this. The only thing is, like, sometimes it comes down, but we just, we keep it up. We try to prevent that from happening. Okay, so this is the last bathing suit. As you might be able to tell, the bottoms don't really fit me too great. Um, it's kind of a weird, it's like a velvet material, and it's dark green, which I love the color. And honestly, I think the top, the top is, like, pretty good. I feel like it makes my boobs look pretty good. Keeping it real. Um, the bottoms, they're supposed to be like that, um, high cut type deal. Uh, no, just no. <laughs> There's like no, no stretch in them. So like, I'm really, I'm really cut off on the sides. It's really uncomfortable. It's just like not flattering. Also, like, why is this crotch so big? Like, I don't need that much coverage in the crotch. Just keeping it real. And then the back is like thong, thong type deal. Um, and then also the straps. I don't know if you can see them, but they're supposed to like, they're kind of like a bra strap. When it like is a little hook and connects at the bottom and that's how this one is and sometimes these straps will just because of the material it's kind of slippery so sometimes the straps will like come off they'll like come off from the back which is not what you want when you try to chill by the pool because then your whole top gonna come down so what i thought about doing was like just kind of undoing the top and then like tying them behind my neck because i think that would work better because i do like the top bottoms are weird um I don't know. I've been thinking about reselling this whole suit, but like I do kind of like the top. But then it's kind of like, when would I wear it? Because I haven't really tried getting it wet. Could be weird. I don't know. But these bottoms are definitely no, like what the, f what, like what? No, maybe for a small person, but like who ain't got no, no nothing, but like I got, got something, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like the top, not the bottoms. Overall, do like Zaffle suits. Um, just expect a little time for shipping. But the suits are pretty good quality, and just like do your research. Um, I tried to only get the ones that had pictures of people in them, so I like knew what I was getting. Just read the reviews, look at pics, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, we're back to normal clothes. Um, probably gonna wear these two things together, but I just got them both from American Eagle, so I thought I'd show them together. Uh, these shorts, they're kind of like that terry cloth, uh, like towel material type. Honestly, I freaking love these. They were on clearance for $8. They had this color and I think navy blue, but I just got like dark gray because I figured that would go, go 
with more. Um, they're, I just really love them. They're so comfortable. Like they're kind of loose fitting. It's just like, yes, bitch, let's go. I like wear them out. I love them so much. I think I've worn them every day, except when I have to wash them, then it's like I go two days without wearing them, but I love them. And then this top, um, I'm pretty sure this is the most basic bitch top going on in the world right now. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen the trend where it's like a band t-shirt and they cut this out. But honestly, I really like this and I didn't pay for it. So, haha. <laughs> um, pulling back, cut out, love it, casual, super lit, let's go. Okay, these next two things, they are meant to be paired together. I will explain why momentarily. These are both from Forever 21 and normally I really don't try and shop there um, because I know that they are very unethical. I think they use like child labor and it's it's not good and I'm really sorry. I do kind of regret buying this. Please, please forgive me. I'm trying so hard, I promise. Um, I haven't shopped there in like literally forever. But I went in with my two friends a couple, two weeks ago and uh, this is going to be for a Halloween costume. Uh, yes. It is July, but Halloween is my favorite holiday and you can never start planning your costumes too early, in my opinion. So, me and two of my other friends are going to be the Powerpuff Girls for Halloween because we're cute and that's a cute freaking idea. So, I'm going to be Blossom, obviously because I have red hair and my one friend has black hair. We're working on finding someone with blonde hair to be Bubbles, but we'll get to that when, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so I just got this, uh, Crush of Velvet Pink skirt here. Uh, honestly, I really like this. I'll probably try and wear it not for Halloween. Also, I I really like this, not gonna lie. And then I just got this cami because it was like $1. Um, and it's like a light pink color. It's full length, but I just tucked it in. So that is that. Okay, this next thing uh, I got from Urban Outfitters. It was on clearance for like $10. Yes, I realize I could have gotten similar, something similar at a thrift store, but I just, I really like this and it was $10, so like why not? It's literally just, just a fucking cropped white tank. I do plan on going thrift shopping soon because I do prefer to go thrift shopping over buying clothes because I'm aware that there's a fuck ton of clothes out there and it's better to buy used. It's just sometimes I buy things that aren't used. So please forgive me once again. We can only try our best in this world, okay? All right, and this I also got from Urban Outfitters. It is a very large, as you can see, men's shirt. Um, this is like five dollars in the clearance section and I plan on wearing it just kind of tied up like this. Um, I'll probably try and make it look a little better because I just literally threw it on right now but like with some jean shorts or some jeans when it gets warmer. Uh, I really like the material. It's kind of like corduroy but like soft and it's black and it has a neat pattern on it but um I, I thought it was cute and it was five bucks so I was like let's go. Love it. Okay um this next shirt is literally just a plain navy-ish blue uh, tank top and it's like loose fitting. It's really freaking soft, racerback, flowy. Got this from a random store in the mall. You know how there's like um just kind of like random stores that you never really go in? Well, I went in one and I got this. It was kind of like a uh, Zoomies, if you know what that is. There was a lot of like thrasher and like skater clothes in there, but then they had like a small selection of girls clothing and this was in there. And um, it was it was pretty affordable if I remember correctly. I mean, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't, so <laughs> yeah, I love this. The lighting got kind of weird because uh, the sun is like changing, so I'm sorry if the lighting got weird. But uh, this is another thing I got. This was in the clearance section at PacSun. It's like a black uh, suede type skirt. I think it was only like 15 bucks, so I like it. Um, it's got a zippy zippy in the back, and I thought it was really cute. I could wear it out. Why am I talking like that? Someone let me know. But I can, like, can wear it out, dress it up. Drizzle it down. You know the drill, wish I did it. Okay, and I also got these jeans from PacSun. They're just black jeans that have like rips on them. And it has been a struggle finding jeans like this. I've literally been on the hunt for destroyed black jeans for a long time. And I don't know, the way my body's shaped, it's just really hard to find jeans because like my thighs are quite big uh, and like I got kind of, kind of a butt. So Either they fit the thighs, or like they're too big in the waist, or they're way too small for the thighs, but they fit in the waist. But these Paxton jeans came through. They're a little high-waisted, as you can see. Um, I think I make my butt look really good. The tags are still on them. Yes. Uh, the only thing is, I am really short, as you might have noticed. And I hate when, like, 
I mean, obviously just getting too short, but they're like a little long, so they kind of bunch up around the ankles. I'll probably just cuff them or like wear boots or something with them where I can like stuff them in the in the shoes. But other than that, I really, I really like these jeans. So shout out to Paxson. Okay, we're nearing the end of this haul. Um, I realize it's been a few, quite a few things. But this is the second to last thing. This is from a, a random boutique in the mall. And it's just a black romper. Uh, I'm holding it because you're supposed to clasp it in the back, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I'm just holding it for now. But usually rompers look really weird on me because like I'm short in general and my torso is so short. They make me look like chunky. So this one actually fit me well and I was very happy. Um, I'm probably gonna wear it like tailgating or just to go out. Um, pretty, pretty freaking lit if I do say so myself. Oh, okay, so this is the last item. This was my big spend, y'all. This is a dress from Free People. It was 80 something dollars. Usually I really do try and save my money. Uh, I'm a college student, don't have that many funds to be going off of, but you know, I've been working this summer. I've been saving up, uh, so I just wanted to treat myself, okay? Don't judge me for it. It's very sheer. Um, I hope you really can't really see me under through this, but I'm probably going to have to wear like spandex or something underneath, which I already have, so it's fine. Um, but it's like just really flowy. It's like an asymmetrical cut. Again, I thought I could wear this tailgating because my school colors are garnet and black. Also, just like black dresses are good to wear anywhere and it's really lightweight so I can wear it in the summer because it's not too hot. I don't know why I'm doing this. But um, yes, this is the final item. And with that concludes my try on haul. Okay, um, I changed from the intro. I'm wearing the white tank top that I got from Urban. But thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, there's a fuzz. I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, you probably wouldn't have watched it. But if you made it to the end, you're like, wow, I hated this. I guess give it a thumbs down. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below telling me what you liked about it. Uh, but yes, thank you guys for watching. I do have more like vegan related videos coming. I have like so many ideas of like making recipes and stuff like that. But the thing is, we are moving starting this weekend. So we've kind of been packing things up and I don't want to stress my mom out with like cooking in the kitchen and like trying to find things that might be already packed and then just having like food out that we're gonna have to bring so we will be moved in by next Tuesday uh, so hopefully next week I can have a fun like recipe video for you guys but if you guys have any suggestions of videos you want me to make please leave them down below because oh my god there's a there's a hawk outside okay uh, that's that's a large animal um, I'm gonna make sure my cats are inside so thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in the next video <laughs>